So we realized that um, last month we didn't do we didn't do a live stream. I mean, we didn't do a uh, unboxing. We did the unboxing on like the little weird figures that came in like <laughs> flower pots and oh, so, the like the toys. That the toys. Had, oh yeah, yes. Was, was weird. Yeah, those those guys were. That was what we did instead of an unboxing. And I did, I didn't think about it. Um, so we have like last month's unboxing to do along with some of this month's unboxing. I have never seen any of these come you, in the mail. You know, well, <laughs> I have, uh, that's a, that's a secret superpower of mine to hide things from you in the mail that I buy. <laughs> You're good at it. Yes. You're very good at yes. it. So, uh, we do have an assortment. Uh, we've got a couple BAM boxes. With... BAM! <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry. I always forget to do that. How is it? It's the BAM box. box. There you go. Geek box. Um, yeah, the geek box now as opposed to the pop culture box. Uh, this one is thick, which makes me think that there might be a, a pop, a Funko pop it's like in there. like that TikTok video. He's thick, boy. He's thick. Damn, boy. <laughs> um, the thick one, this one probably just has. I, I love the autographs that come in these. That's why I get I'm them. excited. I think it'll be fun. So we've got the Nooligans. I did unwrap it just for like the thumbnail photo that we took, but I haven't looked at the. Uh, sub card in the back of it. You took it out of the package, but you didn't open it. I didn't look at it. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the mystery mail call of comics right mystery here. Mail mail, call. Mystery mail call. Got a couple surprises for you here, my dear. I know, right? Oh, heaven. Weren't expecting this one. Oh, gosh. Okay. And then we've got a brand new one here Geek Fuel. Which I heard a lot of cool things about. So looks like a transformer. Yeah, it's let me flip this box around. Yeah. Geek fuel. So that's a that's a new one that we're gonna open up. Looks like so, a head for an amp. Like it looks like an amp. Oh uh, it does. It does. Remember like the old analog amps that they needed the head on the top of them? Yeah. Yeah. It does kind of the design here. Looks like it'd be a line six. So we're gonna give that a try. I think um we might be kind of Good gravy. Kind of changing around what subscription boxes we do from now on. We might be about done with the band box for a little while. We'll see how the geek box. If you all have like suggestions for maybe subscription boxes we should check out, let us know in the comments because I'm interested in looking into them. I got I had somebody send me well my mom did. Hi mom. She sent me international snacks, so we're investing. So yeah, yeah, I know that you guys love the fact that we try weird snacks from around Sammy's the world. Sammy's here. Hi, Sammy. Sammy and, and Drew. Drew. What's going on, Dave? We're like all over here, just uh, not even concerned about what's going on. I, right I know. There. And I know. they came here to see us. Hello. Hello, friends. Thank Hello, you for friends. being here tonight. Um, as I was just saying, we realized that we didn't do an unboxing last month. We did the little weird. Dolls in the boxes, like those were fun. Were I fun. want to do another one of those. Except, Except for, the, for you remember the one that we had to cut out of the gel. Oh, that was so gross. That was disgusting. So gross. That was disgusting. But uh, so we're kind of doing a little bit of a catch up now. I was actually hoping that my newligans for the new new new. Oh, it'll come in the mail tomorrow. It'll be here tomorrow. That's how these <laughs> always work. We do the unboxing for the stuff that we've had for a couple of weeks, and then the day after, or the two days after that, we do the unboxing. The next stuff shows up, so then we have to wait, you know, because I don't want to do unboxing after unboxing. Never, after. We just never run out. Yeah, we, we, we never run out. So this is what happens when you work from home, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens. You guys literally get to see the only time a week that I fix my mustache. I, I do this. I do this for you guys because if I leave the house, I, I wear a mask. Nobody Normally, ever sees you it. got like the Sam Elliott going on. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> Which rough. I mean, I don't mind. If you ever hang out with us during the Instagram live Women streams. like a little rugged sometimes, mm. even if it's geeky rugged. I think geeky rugged. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys hang out with us during the live stream sometimes, um, it, it's just a, a wild mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get started. Let's do one. Yes. Yeah, so okay. where do we want to start? Heavens to Betsy. All right, guys. <sighs> so once again. We've got Nooligans, we've got Comics, we've got Geek Fuel, and we've got Bam Box. Let's start with this mystery comic one. This one's okay. intriguing to me. Okay. This mystery mail call. So, mystery mail call from ComicTom101.com. Comic Tom is kind of um, one of the big wigs in the uh, online comic book. Kind of like, he tells you 
what the hot comics are, you know, which ones are like coming up and, you know, if you're looking to flip comics, sell comics or, you know, what what's big in your collector spot, if you will. Okay. So he has a subscription service where he, uh, in this box particularly, will be like low print run comics, rare variant comics, and even like throws in some past comics, you know, maybe back down to the, like the Silver Age or something like that. So. Okay. Cool. So my mom wants to know if you take the ends of your mustache to your face. No, I won't answer that question. He has these little bitty curling rods that he puts in at night after the shower with some like setting lotion. And then he sleeps with these little bitty curling. Listen, I know she's making fun and I don't put curling things in my mustache, but it takes a lot of effort. Okay. <laughs> I do. I do put things in it at night to help it stay nice and soft and you know, you can only put so much product in it before it like starts breaking off. That's just how it is. But hi, Sky. Hey, Coda. Hi, Sky. Coda, there. Oh, hi, Coda. Oh, hi, Coda. All right. So let me tell. Tell me what's in the. Uh, this. Yeah. Oh Lord, you're gonna kill us all. Yeah. That's why I'm holding it away. From Halloween you. is over. Yeah. Let's stop being so scary. Hopefully, everybody had a great Halloween. Yes. Tell me about your Halloween. Did you guys get any trick or treaters? So we had. We had. Uh, we gave one piece of candy or a treat per kid and we had 125 pieces so well we gave out rice krispie treats and um we gave out cookies cookies and like um, chips 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 of chips so it was pretty easy to know how many of everything we had yeah. so that's how we knew we roughly had oh yeah yeah we didn't give away like you know we didn't count fun size candy no. bars or anything like that so all right, all right. show me what you got let us open it up. All right. Sammy had a rough Halloween, bless her heart. But she wore the sweetest. Well, she, she was the whole. Oh, it's Gamora. Gamora. She has, they did the Guardians, and she yes. has awesome Gamora. Yes. Costume. Oh, we had so many kids. It was actually less than we usually get. It was. Yeah. Halloween lasted about an hour. Usually it lasts about three hours. And we gave away around 300 pieces of. 300 treats, if yeah. you will. So, Usually yeah. it's a few hundred kids. Yeah. But this year we had about 125. And uh, it went by quick. It went by quick. We ran out of candy. I was like, let's get the hell inside now. Oh, <laughs> it, it was nice, They're though. chasing us to the door. Yeah. We couldn't yeah. get in. We even, off we even turned off the lights, and they were still knocking on the door later on. So we're just like, mm, sorry. All right. Okay, so, oh, okay. So oh. there's a new Dune sequel, or prequel, I'm sorry, coming out to obviously the book and the movie that everybody knows. Um, this is a variant cover. I don't know how many of, there's a slip in here. That's probably this right here. There's a slip in here that'll let us know what the rarity of this book is, but there's a new 12 part miniseries coming out as a prequel to the movie or, and or book Dune. So very cool. Okay. House Atreides is what this one is. This is a thick book too. Feel that. It's thick. It's thick. Damn boy. <laughs> um, all right. So we've got a. Um, this is what a throwback. Uh, New Mutants comic. Okay. Okay. All right. We've got an older, uh, probably from the. It's Inferno, so I think it's late eighties. Uh, Fantastic Four issue. That's nifty. Uh, number 323 from the 80s there. Ooh, we've got some BPRD, some Hellboy. Okay. Throwback. Uh, I actually know what this comic is. Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, number nine. I think this is the second appearance of Machine Man, or as he's called, Mr. Machine here. X51 is who he is, but but that's that's... It, it, that guy right there, Machine Man. Ooh. Ooh. Then we've got a print. Now you have my attention. Cool print. This, uh, oh, that's cool. Pretty sweet Thanos print. I love Thanos. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then... Uh, I Finally think, something cool. And then this is a variant edition of... Um, is this... X-Men creation number one, X of Swords, creation number one. This is a variant cover. That's magic. Um, so I guess we'll find out what the numbers on these are. That's a cool cover. It looks like it might be a connecting cover over here, the way it's kind of cut off. So I dig it. 
All right, dear, give us the stats. What do we have here? Okay, the Dune comic. You could have had a virgin art cover, which we didn't get. No. Um, so that was the special. For those who don't know, what does virgin art cover mean? Virgin art cover means there's no printing on it, like the words and the copyright and the little scan barcode. Right, so this, like is, this would be called a trade dress, just so you know. It said that there. I just chose not to use. Oh, okay. It. Cool. I have my glasses on today. Though. What does it say about the X of Swords here? Uh, it says mail call. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's all it says. What? Is, nothing down here. Oh, I can't read that. What are you talking about? Give it to me, dear. Okay. All right. I'm 106. The Thanos print is by Brian Silverbacks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, this is a Dune. This is a Dr. Seuss Dune homage print. Right here. That's pretty hilarious. I have been staring at that this whole time. That's the coolest thing in the box. Dr. Dr. <laughs> Seuss Dune. Yes. Yes. Uh, how did they get my picture on the cover? What is oh, you mean Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> That's your mother, Gretchen. I love you, Mom. <laughs> That's your mother, Gretchen. Um, uh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> the Ex of Sword uh, Magic Variant by Davi Go. Okay. All right. Well, or there could have been a different ash can um, of a different comic on it as well. <laughs> so cool. That's your mother, Gretchen. Dishonor amongst your family. I brought dishonor on my family. <laughs> so where do we go Let's next? Let's do one of the band boxes. Okay. Okay. Which one? The, the skinny bam. The skinny bam. Yeah. Going with the skinny. The skinny bam is actually this month's bam let's, box. Let's set those over there. Okay. Skinny bam. This one can stay here though, because I think it's cool. Skinny bam is the new bam. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Go for it, my dear. Bam. Oh, you know what comes in every BAM box you can always be guaranteed with? Is BAM paper! I'm glad they brought this back. I was <laughs> you were disappointed, disappointed last time. that we didn't have it. Yeah, you were. <sighs> My notebook is almost complete. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we've got a number of things. We've got a things. number of little little goodies in here. All right. Little goodies. Okay, let's start with this thing. It's a pen. It's a pen. Oh, look at oh this. it's uh, it's the fly Bart Simpson from Treehouse of Horrors. I, why are you four hundred feet away? Can you tell that's the it's Bart with the fly head that was from the tree? I don't remember which Treehouse of Horrors, but I'll be honest with you. you I'll be honest with you. Treehouse of Horrors is the only Simpsons episode my I mom, watched. Anymore. My mom disowned me. I saw that she has, <laughs> no, she has no children. Yes, you do. <laughs> they should put something signed by Bam Margera in a Bam box. Oh, hey oh, oh it's a singer. Zing. <laughs> Good job on you, Brandy. Good job. All right. Oh no. Where you want to go? No. Oh, it's the scratcher. Y'all, the lottery is for fools. Right. I might have changed. Oh. Who might you what? have money? What? How did you get what? money? This is obviously it's, a mistake. It's my lucky dime. No, no, nobody else. You should, this is your dime. I boy. guess. I don't even know how you got money. I know, I'm not allowed to have any. Mm -hmm. I'm not even allowed to leave the house. Mm -hmm. That's because I come home and all these boxes are just <laughs> magically here. All right, middle, center, or middle, I always say that, left, center, or right? Um, Center. Center. No, don't do center. Do left. Left. Yeah. Left. Yes. Okay. Because it would be it would be. Just scratch right. off okay. the damn scratch right. okay. off. Okay. okay. It's gonna be go. just difficult. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Ready for this excitement? Uh, celebrity signed autograph. Oh, from my angle, that looked like something that came on a wish ad. I was like, what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought about doing a video of what Wish recommends That's a bad I, idea. I buy on That's my a Facebook. Bad idea. You guys ever have that little bar in the middle of your Facebook where it's like Wish recommends this, and it's always it's like I've weirdest, never looked at anything like that before. Weirdest stuff ever. So which one? Um, you pick this one. All right. I'll, I go, I'll go. I'll go with center. It is the. Uh, she feel like she's watching the Big Brother thing, but oh, I'm spicy tonight. I don't know what happened. Pin upgrade box. Oh, but now the only now way. That's not a winner. Yeah, now the only <laughs> way we can win is with an. Let's waste winner. some more time. Yay. 
And, oh, cool. They're giving away Amazon Echo Dots, but we didn't win them. So. Man, I'm glad we did that. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. You pick the next thing. Let's go with the card. Okay. Now, this uh, we actually have a new set of cards because we finished up the last one. Oh, cool. Uh, I think it was Wonder Woman and, and Cheetah. Yes. Wasn't that it? Yeah, because you spoiled it on yourself. I did because I guessed it. Yeah, yeah. I, I had guessed it. You guessed it in a, you, know, you were bullshitting and then you guessed it. Oh, that's right. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotcha. Uh, so this is, oh, <laughs> it's Jim Helper Golden Face. Oh, no, it's not yes. a office themed yes. one. <gasps> um, de uh, what's it? Uh, something threat midnight? Threat level midnight. Threat, threat level midnight. Blake, it's threat level midnight. Golden face. Oh, those are going to have to go to Blake. So, you know, oh man, it's, so it's got to be, I don't know who's, who would be the opponent? Who was, it would it be Michael Scar. Yes, it would be Michael. It's Michael Scar. So uh, we're just taking a guess that the next uh, card is going to be Michael Scar. That's funny though. That's awesome. Oh man. All right. That's a good one. Go ahead and open that. Card. Okay. So we got a tin. It looks like a tin of mints, like those those butter. What were those mints, Mom? That we used to get buttermilk mints or something like that. But it says pigs clover. The pigs have run amok in a field of delicious clover. Hero them all back into their pen. Is this a game? Like the old tiny game? Look at the. Why does that sound so, somewhat familiar? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. There you go. Can you guys see that? There it is. Yeah. Okay, so it's a 10. Okay. 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 I'm a little afraid. This is a little scary. Yeah. All right. Oh, I know what this is. Don't take that out. It's a, it's a little, it's a little like maze. Oh, it's a little labyrinth. But look, look at the figure in the middle. For those of you who might have HBO, it's the figure from Westworld. Oh. Yeah. I don't watch that show, but I don't watch a lot of shows. I only saw the first like season and a half, but that's the figure from Westworld. So okay. It, yeah. I think this is a darling little tin, though. Like, we could totally put that up back here. I think that looks cute. But that is pretty cool. It's very Chewing big. tobacco. That's how they used to come. That's a big-ass can of chewing tobacco. Yeah, but that's that's pretty cool. Uh, there it goes. That's cute. I think it's fun. It's very country. It reminds yeah. me of something you could get at, like, uh, the, a Cracker the, Barrel. There's this bead in there. It's a little yeah. labyrinth game. It's a little labyrinth game. You gotta like get the bead around into the middle of the figure. Okay. All right. I was totally gonna pull that thing out. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't pull that out. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Um, so okay. I'm guessing next up is the art print. We have art. Sick. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I dig it. Look at this! Yes. This is cool. This is this is gonna, I, I like this it. This is gonna have to go in the living room. You think so? In our gothic theme living room? Yeah. You gotta have some Beetlejuice in there. Fun. Oh, I like this. That's a cool. Lot. That's real cool. That is real cool. I dig it. Okay. Right. So next up is the autograph. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know what theme. I don't remember what themes were for this. So because it was eighty four years ago. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is. Oh, it's Polly from Goodfellas. That's cool. I uh, like him. I think. I think. His, I think the actor's name is actually Paul, but it's Polly from Goodfellas. That's cool. So very I dig cool. It. I dig it. I'm not big into like mobster movies, I love but I like Goodfellas. That's probably the one I like. I honestly don't care anything about like Godfather or anything like that. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but I do like Goodfellas. You quote it all the time. Goodfellas? Yeah. Karen! Karen! What are you doing, Karen? <laughs> I do it all day when I yell at the Karens. <laughs> At her store. And all my customers are called Karen. They all come they in and here. touch the glass on the cabinet. Like Karen! Karen, what are you doing? Karen! Okay. So, all right, what do we get? So the celebrity autograph. Any fan? Paul Sorvino. Thanks, cousin Dave. There we go. I knew his name was Paul. Thanks, Dave. Uh, any fan of Bob movies or Martin, Martin Scorsese is going to be thrilled this month as we bring you Polly from Goodfellas. Yay. Screen legend of Paul Sorvino. That's nifty. And that could have been a number of um, acting, a number of his different 
acting roles in a picture. This but, might be fun for But for me, people. that's iconic right there. Like, that's Pauly from Goodfellas. That's cool. That's an iconic image. Nifty. Then we got the fan art pin, which was... Uh, the weird V. Yeah. I don't know why he put the camera 75 feet away, but my little T-Rex arms can't get that close. You guys, 2020 marks 30 years of the Treehouse of Horrors. 30 years. 30 years. And so there could have been two different, a couple different kinds. Could have had, um, oh, you remember the creepy bar twin that lived in the attic? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you had like a chaser version, like yeah. a black and white version. Yeah, and then you had the terrifying version of Groundkeeper's Willie as well. Okay. So. Cool. Fan art print. Then the fan art print. 32 years ago, Tim Burton and Michael Keaton joined forces uh, by artist Mark Rudolph. Very cool. This is one of those movies that I will never, ever get tired of watching. Like, I could watch this every single day and be totally fine with it. This is a fantastic movie. Yeah. So, um, and then this thing here. Be ready to achieve full consciousness. Fans of the HBO hit show Westworld will be excited to know that they have their chance with this replica of the once mysterious maze. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. That's devil. Also, I mentioned the card, but it ruined it for me, and I'm not going to mention that right now because it says last month you got this, but now this is the second part. Oh, this is the other half. Yeah. Okay. So I already know who it is. Boo. I'm sure we all know who it is, so we'll just move on. Uh, no, you're wrong. It's not oh. Michael Scarn, by the way. Oh. Just throwing that out there. Okay. What do we do next? Whatever you want to do. Let's do some hooligans. Okay. All right, once again, now looking. Oh, then I know who it is. Now looking at the okay. card. Uh, but these are my monthly hooligans art prints from. Oh, I love these. An artist out in California. Uh, goes by the name Hooligan, and this is a pack of smokes which are uh, basically a play on the cards that used to get in cigarettes, the pack of smokes. So, but these are little mini art prints. Some of them, almost like trading cards. Some of them uh, could be a varying rarity, like Pokemon cards. You know, you got commons and rares and uncommons and super rares and limited editions. All right. All right, so we opened it properly this time. So yes. our And then every, card. every month, because I subscribe, I get a specific card that is only available to subscribers yes so so it's exclusive here's the the data on the back uh -huh. ready ready okay i dug it nice it's, i uh, love it smoky the bear look at smoky look at good old smoky the that's bear that's super cool i dig it that's so cool the the cards are your favorite part scott they're uh, one of my favorites as well. We uh, we actually just figured out how we want to display these in our home, like ten minutes before we went. Yeah, I have so we have kind of an archway in here, and we figured we, we figured could just, out how we could do it. Yeah. So yeah, this one's this one's one for the wall. I love me some smoky bear, smoky and I love bear. this tattoo art. I think it's cool. All awesome. right. Okay. What else we got? And we got the wrapping here. Oh, check out Tim's sweet Duckling, Darkwing Duck shirt. We got it at Disney Springs. Yeah, if you guys watched our Disney Springs video, that's that's when I got this. Super cool. I really... Right. I oh, love hey, check oh. it out. Came you got with, a thing. Came with a little sticker. You got a thing. Came with a sticker. There's a thing with the thing with the thing. It's been a little while since I had a random item in one of these. Okay. So let's do it one by one, darling. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh. Oh, it's the uh, Beastie Boys. It's the Beastie Boys. Oh, rest in peace. Nice. This is actually a double, if anybody... So it's up for trade? It's up for trade. Very cool. I dig it. All right, you ready? Yep. Here's a common one. Oh. Ooh. Oh, just in time for uh, Halloween, it would have been. The Wolfman. Very, very cool. I like that one. That's different. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And then you got a little skinny one. Uh, so it's probably a sketch card. You got them upside down. No, it's probably a sketch card okay. then. Okay. Super rare. <gasps> That's cool. I don't know who this is. You don't know who that is? It's some um, samurai. No. Um, Guys, any ideas on who this might be? Is that Bill? That's not Bill. He's holding a samurai sword. Any ideas? 
Is that like his original character, maybe? No, this is um oh it's, well, it's pop art. It's rare, but it's not. Um, it's a sketch series. Yeah, but it's not a new league and original. So this is a character from pop culture somewhere. If anybody has any idea. Oh, let us know in the comments below, guys. Because I cannot nail that one down. It's wait. There's something you don't know. Well, yeah. It's cool looking though. It is cool looking. I like it. Dang it! It's gonna drive me nuts now. It's gonna. Um, I'll never hear the end of this. Guys. No, no. All right. Oh! Oh, sweet! It's another one of these uh, tattoo cards that Gretchen really loves. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a pretty design. That's a new looking original. That's gorgeous. Billy Butcherson? No, it's not Billy Butcherson. Thanks for playing. <laughs> no, he's wearing. He's holding a. He's holding a sword. That's not. And plus, his face isn't sewn up. And also, he's got a, piece not of, a zombie dressed in 1893 yeah, Salem garb. He's kind of dressed almost like a samurai almost. All right. What's our last one in this pack? Oh, I love this one too. Hey, Dave, check it out. It's Marilyn Monroe. That's cool. I dig it. I think this is part of a two-parter. It looks like she's pulling something. Maybe Joe DiMaggio. Oh, that's she. That was that was yeah about that era. But this is this is a rare one. I really I really really like that. This is a rare one. So this is a oh the older one too from series one. I'm surprised they don't have this one yet. But very cool. There we go. So when they're usually set up like this and the character is off center, it's like a part of a two piece. A side by side. Side by side. Yeah. It's Michael Jackson. I think she's being facetious. I don't know. It's hard to gauge Sammy sometimes. I don't, I don't think. This would not, like, judging by the age on this character's face, I don't believe his skin tone was that light at that time. That, yeah, that's not my This is, time. like, late 40s Michael Jackson skin color with 30s Michael Jackson body language. That's not Michael Jackson. It's not Michael Jackson. I know Michael Jackson. So, let me tell you a story. Story time. So when I was a little girl, <laughs> and my mama's on here, so she knows she's giggling. She has pictures, by the way, in case you want to ask her about them. So my mama was a cosmetology teacher, and she spent time in the beauty school. And so when it came time for baby Gretchen to go to kindergarten, she said, Gretchen, how would you like to get your hair cut for, for school? And I told her I wanted to look like Michael Jackson. This is 1980s Michael Jackson, so it was like the tight Jerry Curl Michael Jackson. So my mama, being the fantastic mama that she was, she put my hair in rollers and she gave me a perm. And I had the curliest little white girl Jerry Curl you could ever imagine. And you couldn't tell me nothing. I was the cutest thing ever. I looked just you like guys, Michael Jackson. You guys, take Chunk from uh, You want to be starting something? Take Chunk from Goonies and put Richard Simmons' hair on him. <laughs> I was precious. That's a word. I was adorable. So, true story. My mom will totally, totally agree with me that I thought I was the cutest thing in yes. the world. No, everybody will agree with you that you thought you were adorable. <laughs> I was adorable. No one can take that from you. I you can like, think a lot of things. I look like the lost daughter of Richard Simmons. No one can take your thoughts from you. You can think you look good, but nobody's going to agree that I you was, actually look good. I was precious. Okay. I was a precious, precious little honey boo boo child. Yeah. Okay. And that's true. I would. That's a very true story. <laughs> she I have pictures. photos to prove. Feel free to ask her, because she once again she thought she looked cute, so right. she'll show you. Mm, I was cute. <laughs> Could tell me nothing. All right. All right. All so right. I got a couple things here, babe. Okay. So, um, a lot of people don't know that you have a very specifically curated comic book collection. A lot of people don't know that Gretchen has a comic book collection. Why you gotta out me on public like this? You just you just exposed yourself to him looking like a chunky little Richard Simmons, and you're afraid to tell people you read comic books. Okay, right. I I do have a very specific comic book collection. So I have a couple of rare items for you here. Okay. That I picked out specifically for you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with this one first. Okay. okay. Now. What was it? What was the what was the thing that got you into comics? What was the storyline that got you into comics? Hush. Hush. And you found what 
because of Hush. You found your favorite. I found Poison Ivy. Found Poison Ivy, her favorite super villain of all time. I love Poison Ivy. Like but, I relate to her so much. But Poison Ivy is also part of a group that you're very fond of. Correct. The well, Gotham City the Sirens. Gotham City Sirens, which is Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman. Mm -hmm. And so Detective Comics 1027 just recently came out, which is the 1,000th appearance of Batman in Detective Comics. Okay. And there was this very specific artist that I'm very fond of, and he made a specific cover. A specific variant cover. You can cover. the box. Okay. And You're so crazy. go ahead and take that very carefully. You're making me nervous. You're fine. Do it along the edge of the board. There you go. All right. And so he made this very specific cover that I saw. And I said, well, Gretchen's got to have this. <sighs> oh, my. So let me, I'll let you look at it more in a second. Let's show the audience. It's the Gotham City Sirens, and they have Batman trapped up. Now, this is by artist Mark Brooks, who does oil painting. And so this is a very limited edition. I think there's only like 400 prints or something like that, which is super small for a comic book run. So I saw that, and I said, hey, Christian's got to have that. I love this. Yeah. Yes. I, I knew you would. Yes, I I am big into the Gotham City Sirens. I love Poison Ivy with all my heart. And I actually really, really relate to her and Selena Kyle. Amazingly enough, Harley Quinn is not my favorite, but my best friend loves Harley Quinn. So we kind of joke that that's us. So I yep. love it. Very, very cool. Sorry, I had a moment. Sometimes I forget <clears throat> you guys are right there with me. So this... That's really cool, babe. I'm going to have to hang that up. This next piece also goes along the same lines of what we just talked about. Okay. I'll go ahead and open this up for you. I know you're very timid about opening up comics. Yeah, because you stare at me like this. Yes. You bring dishonor on our family if you mess it up. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. Randy's being dirty over there. He wouldn't mind being trapped by those three. <laughs> me neither, Randy. I wouldn't mind it one bit. I'd like, let me be the meat in the Gotham City Sirens sandwich. All right, let me unwrap this for you. It was really stunning. That's beautiful. We're going to have to get that special frame for the thicker books so I can hang that up. There you go. Unwrap that. I got another one. Yeah. Oh my God. This one's just for fun. I saw this one. Once again, it is a, very, a rare variant cover. I couldn't pass it up. Um, this actually belongs to a series, but I just grabbed this specific one just for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, this artist makes these uh, comic book covers that this look like... Precious! They look like cereal boxes. And so, there's a... This uh, Batman animated series series is out right now, and there's like Per, per issue. This is like issue number five, but it was Harley Quinn's cover. But each of them, there's like Joker and Catwoman and Mr. Freeze and stuff like that, but they all have, That's, oh my God, they all have their it. own cereal box covers oh, on the issue. Thanks, babe. I love those. Yeah. Make them green with envy. 100% organic. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thanks, babe. So there you go. So yeah, now you've added me as I, I have yeah, nerd. I have nerd. I have a uh, basically anything that Poison Ivy has had her face on. I I own. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I regret nothing. You're a giant dork. <laughs> We're not in my nerd. room. <laughs> Shut up. Let's take care of this transformer over here. Okay, the geek fuel. <laughs> I don't know what song I just sang. Oh, here I found it. Hold on. Oh. Sometimes what you can go across that. Yeah. Sometimes when you make noise, I'm scared of you when you do that. Sometimes when you make noise while you do things, I find that it makes, makes it better. It works better. It makes it better? Yeah. Like when I'm at work and I'm like using the piping bag, if I go, if I go, every time. This box is weird. It makes my day better. Oh, there we go. 
So it opens like that. Okay. All right. All righty. I'm already excited. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the um, explanation sheet. Okay. So set that aside. Set that aside. Oh, but I'm already excited. Oh. I'm so excited. Some more Beetlejuice stuff. I just can't hide it. Oh, it's there's something in here. Would fight me for the per Perry the platypus shirt. This is Darkwing Duck, sir. How freaking dare you? How dare, How dare you? Dare you? <sighs> what? <sighs> <sighs> I am offended. <sighs> Perry the Put platypus. Put that up on there so you bring shame on his family. Thou shalt be banned. Dishonor. Anyway, okay. Back to the unboxing. I think this is, we're yelling at our family. Yeah. Guys, so don't 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can talk to your family any way you want to. Okay. There's something in here. It's a book of the dead. Book of, uh, a handbook, a handbook for, the for the recently, recently deceased. But it's it's not it's not uh, a book. It's it's a box. There's something in here. I gotta open it carefully because I want this box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dave says, I am filled with shame. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> oh my gosh, how come I can't open this dang box? There we go. You are being very delicate with that, aren't you? I want to, I like it. Oh, it's a shirt. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Jingle teeth. <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's a, a sandworm. It's a sandworm, and there's the house in the background details. The showtime says down here. Very cool. Oh, I love it. I'm jealous. Here, hold that up it's a little closer. I don't. I got T Rex arms. It's a cool design. Sandworm. There's the house. You've got other small details like the cemetery. Uh, it's actually, I guess, Beetlejuice is great down there. Very cool. So I'm jealous. I'll keep the shirt and you can keep the box. <laughs> you need to start ordering these in my shirt sizes. Well, sure. de depending on how this works out, maybe we'll get one for next month and I'll order you one in your t-shirt size. Sound fair? I mean, not all of us can wear a boy's Does that sound here. fair? Okay. This is how we talk to each other all the time. <laughs> we love each other very much. Okay, next thing. Randy says they'll trade you something just for the box. <laughs> what you got? Randy's got good stuff. Yeah, he does. Okay, fantastic. Forgotten fortunes, rare retro relics, trinkets. Do you know what this is? Treasures and trash. It actually says. Isn't that the bag that Marty McFly's uh, con the book came in? Like, isn't that? Oh, that? is that where? Is that what the almanac came in? Is Didn't it come? I, I feel like it. I pouch? feel like it came in like a pouch like that. But that's, although that's not. That's it, there's definitely. A thing yeah, there's there. something in here. Okay, we just. I don't know. This oh, box here's, is here, stupid. Here we go. Okay. Is there, it's a resealable. No? Good thing the rabbits are not in here with us because anytime I open anything. They come over like two little hungry, hungry hippos thinking we got treats. Because we usually have treats. Good thing I brought scissors because it didn't work out. You don't know how to do things. Oh! 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 What is, what is, what's going on? That's, that's super random. We've got, um, we've got a Disney, like, trading card and it's got a member of the, uh, the orchestra. Little Mermaid little... Orchestra on it. The seaweed is always green though. This is somebody else's name. This is one of those quarter, uh, you know, you put in the quarter and turn the knob and it drops this little thing down and it's got a prize in it. This is like a little ring. Then we got a dumb dumb sucker that has probably been made 47 years ago. Can't tell what this is. It's a little face. Oh, it is a face. Oh, that's weird. A little pink ring are these the on. things you get somehow and then like you end up getting a phone call and then you're dead in seven oh days? no is this one of those like open at 3 a.m boxes like then super random this super random what is going 
This is an if odd this one. this is what the future is, I don't want it. This is an odd one. Super weird. I don't understand. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, socks, they look like the, uh, the shining carpet. The carpet at the hotel in the shining. Oh, these are cool. You will like these. They're nice long socks. Yes. Tim loves socks. Good art. You know what? It's he one, loves it's, it's, fancy socks. It's one of those he weird. He does not discriminate. He it, loves socks. It's one of those weird quirks that I, I think you cannot have comfortable enough socks. Yeah, he. it's ridiculous. Of course, in my last job, I used to like climb around in the heat. And in my steel toe boots, are fun. and uh, just um, climb all over oh, things. The so, back has a picture of who's it? It's the three wheeler that he oh, yeah, yeah. was on. That's when fun. when you work on your feet and you're climbing around, you know, construction equipment and stuff like that. Uh, good socks. I, I I can't swear enough how good. The image on that ring was like a scrunched up face. Yeah, it, yeah I, it's I, weird. I, I can't even show. Like I don't even think it can. It'll show the ring up. is like teeny tiny. Like I can't even get it to show up properly. So it's just this. It's weird. It's just that was a weird bag of just stuff. Oh, but at least it was honest about what was in there. Oh, hey, Frankenstein! It's a little reaction. It's a little reaction figure. Don't we have a? Uh, I don't think they have one. No. But now we do. Little reaction figure. That's cool. Now I'm torn because like our living room is decorated with Frankenstein and the bride, but this would be cute here too. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like to share. Okay. That was that was some um, was a weird box. So I really like the t shirt, the the socks, uh the action. I mean figure. it was no, I had the Beetlejuice thing, it was really yeah. cool. It's this thing that kind of deflated the balloon. Yeah. That pack. If, if it didn't have that pack, I probably would have liked the box more. Yeah. I mean, it, it did say, though, at the bottom, treasures and trash. So That's true. That's true. Trinkets, treasures, and trash. All right. So let's find out. Okay. Tell us what the hell this was. Cheat, cheat. Okay. Oh, okay. Mystery bag. Oh, they they give away special. Sometimes it's like it's like um, a random prize. The real the real prize could have been in there. Oh, okay. So it was like um, like a blind box. like a blind bag, like situation. a gold ticket situation. Right. So there was actually something somebody could have gotten. You we could, got somebody's trash. You could have won a two night stay at the Stanley Hotel, which is the Shining Hotel. Yeah, I thought it was torn down, or it was like. Really burnt down or something. That's in the book. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got the I would not be staying at. The got the shirt. Uh, the Although socks. I would stay at the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast. Oh. Right here. <laughs> Besides Frankenstein, we could have got the Metal Luna Mutant. I'm glad we got Frankenstein. I'm glad we got Frankenstein too. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and then the shining the, socks. The shining and... socks and the t-shirt. So yeah. Very cool. Okay. I actually thought it was a cool box. I did not not I like didn't that. understand the trinkets and trash, but now, now that I, I do. explain that it's like a thing, then yeah. you know, okay. Okay, we'll go with it. That sounds like a thing we'll do. Now we're down to our last box, darling. If you punch somebody in the face wearing the ring, they will have a smiley face imprinted on them. Maybe that's what it's for. That's what uh, the Phantom used to do. He, he had a skull on his face. ring, and he would like it was like a mark of villainy that they dealt with the Phantom. He would literally imprint the ring in their head. Do you remember the um, Charlie Murphy Chappelle show where he was playing um, Rick James and he had a ring that said Unity <laughs> and he punched the guy in the face and he had the Unity on his head and Rick James was like Unity. <laughs> I don't know. It just gave me. That's what I'm gonna do with that ring. <laughs> Punch in the face, unity. <laughs> the five say to the face. <laughs> Slap. Slap. <laughs> hey, more bam paper, like we've called it. Bam paper. I have such a pile of trash over here. <laughs> All right, so the, I can tell already this is the autographed item, so we're just going to set that to the side. Oh, look. 
There it is. Opposing Golden Faces, Dwight Schrute. That's so fun. It's over there. No, oh, yeah, it's gone. It's in the other box. But there he is, Dwight Schrute, in his uh, SWAT gear. That's fun. We'll, says, we'll take pictures and we'll post them on our Instagram. It says kill on his chest. Pop our Instagram up there so they can find it later. Oh, I right. We'll take pictures and we'll post them up on our Instagram. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like that a lot. Anyway, so. Oh, look, babe. We got another scratch off. Oh, no, a scratch off. You want to give it a go? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Here you go. My lucky dime that wasn't so lucky. Left, right, or center? Let's go to the right. Celebrity autograph. Okay. I thought it was a bratwurst. Okay. Right or center? <laughs> it's the same image you thought was something on Wish. It's a, it's a quill. <laughs> I had to look hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right, left or center? You choose. No, you choose. You just choose my adventure. Center. Okay. Oh, it's another bratwurst. Is it? Yes. Uh oh. Look. We've got uh, two two matching so far. You guys, ready for this? Ready, ready, ready to be disappointed. You ready? Here comes the disappointment. No way! We actually won! We won a celebrity autograph! What? It's the Bratwurst blood thing! That's hilarious. Okay. Praise be to the Bratwurst! It doesn't... It, she says it looks like a Bratwurst. It's a quill. Use your imagination. Yes. Think I've been the, reading a lot of books. Think like of it. the eggplant emoji. If <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of... It's not too far off. It's not very far off from that, actually. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Okay, next? we got a new pin. It's Guilford Godfrey. What? You guys tell me it's not Guilford Godfrey? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that's the dude from Split. <laughs> that's James McAvoy. <laughs> Guilford Godfrey. What? How did you get that? <laughs> that's James McAvoy from Split. What? <laughs> Why are you so bad at calling these out? It's totally Gilbert Godfrey. Look at him. I mean, it, I I could get that at first glance because oh, I barely looked gosh. at it. But that's James McAvoy from Split. <laughs> that's the beast. I only pay attention to Patricia. <laughs> it's not me. It's Patricia. <laughs> I mean, the likeness is pretty uncanny. It looks just like Gilbert Godfrey. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. James McAvoy is a gorgeous angel, and he doesn't look like that. He didn't uh, split. I told you I only paid attention to Patricia. <laughs> okay. All right. See, my mom agrees with me. Yeah, but your mom's like almost blind, too, so. <laughs> Bratwurst have brought honor to your house. Yes, they have. <laughs> the Bratwurst have brought honor to our house. All right. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. This is the artist print. It's the dude. It's the dude <laughs> drinking a white Russian. Oh, I love it. It says the dude abides in his classes. Oh, it does. We adore this movie yeah and we quote it all the time dick lebowski gets quite a few watches in this oh house. i love it that, that is cool that's a cool print that is cool it's gonna bring the whole room together man <laughs> oh uh, and it's, oh, it's autographed by the artist and everything yeah oh this is fun i like this a I lot dig it. i dig it that's cool that's cool okay, so Okay. Oh, what in like, the world is this? Looks like we have another cereal box. What is the cereal box Re thing? Remember, Although the Beetlejuice one was cool. Remember the Spaceballs one that we had? We had the Spaceballs. Space balls. And then you had another one, too. I think you tried to put it up here and I vetoed it because it was stupid. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I only had one. Um, oh, Cheery Owls. Baby, this is from Harry Potter. Cheery Owls. I guarantee you. 
They never ate Cheerios in Harry Potter. Now with Screet Oil. This has got to be a, a Wizarding Commission, according to the Wizarding Commission. That doesn't mean it's from Harry Potter. It's made inspired by the Harry Potter world, sure. Okay. But they never ate cheery owls in Harry Potter. Um, I kind of feel like they did. They did not eat cheery owls. Let, let us know. All my Harry Potter aficionados. I'm calling on you now because Tim is a dork and he doesn't know what he's talking about because he's dumb. I'm dumb. You, you don't I know what cheery owls are. Of you don't know what cheery owls are. Who's dumb? <laughs> what? Okay. Huh? Should I t huh? tape it? Should I tape it? Oh, well, isn't this a strip that you peel That's off? What I'm yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. We're gonna like legit put it together. Uh, if you want. Okay. The 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 um. Uh, space balls one is still sitting flat. Well, that one didn't have. I don't think it did have. It, a, did. Uh, it didn't have a seal. There you go. I want some effing Cheerios, man. Perfect. All right, All right. so. How do we redeem that? Uh, I, I'm sure there's instructions online somewhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Redemption instructions, literally. Here we go. I feel better now that it's Box of Cheerios. My OCD can't handle it not being put together. All so. right. Okay. So now we have a Funko Pop that is. I totally forgot about the Funko Pop. <laughs> it, it's It's got to be our celebrity autograph. Okay. So. I mean, and I already know, we already know who the character is. I'd be stoked if it was Josh Brolin, but I don't think it is. OMG. It's Thanos <laughs> in a Christmas sweater. It's Thanos in a it's Christmas sweater. It's the holiday, sweater. Thanos. It's Thanos in a Christmas sweater. What's the autograph? Isaac? Isaac Stanley? Is that a person? Let's see here. There's I feel like that name sounds vaguely familiar. Isaac Singleton Jr. Oh, Isaac. Okay, Isaac Singleton. Is he a voice actor? When it comes to video games and animation, there's only one true mad titan, and that is Isaac C. Singleton Jr.'s Thanos. Along with having notable roles in Anger Management, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Deadpool, Singleton has given voice to Thanos consistently since the early 2000s. Check out to see if you get the Venomized Thanos or the Holiday Thanos. Hand signed by Singleton on location at BAM. Yeah, we got the Holiday Thanos. I'm so mad, though, because I would totally use that in my holiday decorations. But I can't take it out of the box because it's an autograph piece. That's booty. But if you guys have ever watched any of the recent Marvel cartoons or video games that had Thanos in it, he sounds just like Josh Brolin in, in the Avengers movies. I know exactly who they're Sammy's talking about. Sammy's saying they eat it for breakfast in the movies. I knew I've heard it before. I knew it, no. right, Sammy? No. I knew it. Thank you, Sammy. I'm calling BS on all of that. Thank you, Sammy. I knew it was familiar. Sending you love, and that's BS. Nope. It's a thing. I don't. It's a thing. It's not a thing. It, it's totally a thing. Just because you say it's not doesn't mean it's... Stop saying it's not, Gretchen. You're not going to make it a thing. <laughs> Did you just mean girls mean? <laughs> you can't sit with us. Stop saying fetch, Gretchen. Okay, what else did we get? On Mondays, we don't wear attitude, Gretchen. Fan art. I wear an attitude <laughs> every day. That's my everyday attire. Fan art print. It's been 22 years since the dude started abiding on the big screen, and we couldn't wait any longer to celebrate one of our favorite movies ever. This tribute to The Big Lebowski was brought to us by Carrie Milburn, and we couldn't be more pleased. Yeah, that's our opinion, man. <laughs> this is my opinion, man. Can't stand the Eagles. That's nifty. I enjoyed that box. That's fun. So that was a large unboxing. Oh, uh, it looks like you could have got Sam Jackson's character in Glass. So now I can so you, see you, that it's not Wilford Goss. You could have got either Glass or you could have got Bruce Willis's character. Oh, that, is that Bruce Willis? He looks. It doesn't look like Bruce Willis. Like, but he that's, looks like the old guy that was in um, Teen Hunger Force on Cartoon Network. Do you remember that? The old guy that wore Carl. Like Carl. Yeah, he looks like Carl. From that doesn't Teen look Hunger like Bruce Willis, but that's the only other person that could be. 
but he does look like Carl from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. So next Monday night, guys, is another live stream, but we are announcing our giveaway because not only did we break 1,000 people, not only did we get past 1,100 people, we got 1,200 subscribers, guys. Um, so we're assembling a gift. A two, gift pack. 200 subscribers ago, we had said, "Hey, we need to get our our giveaway get going." And well, we we slacked. We but, we we slacked. Well, we've we're got to make it worth the wait. Yeah, um, we've got something that you guys might have seen us recently buy at Disney, mm -hmm. which Christian actually pointed out. Hey, we should buy this for the giveaway. Um, and then a bunch of like other random items, uh, stuff that obviously um, represents the channel. You know, you got Disney, Star Wars, um, maybe some comic stuff. Yeah, um, but then we're also, we're also going through all these like awesome band box things. Yeah. And well, so some choice items that maybe other people might really enjoy and might find their way to you too. Yeah, so the unboxings is kind of a big thing on the channel too. So we're taking a bunch of stuff that maybe you've seen us unbox before mm -hmm. and kind of something cool thrown it shuffling perhaps it in there. an autographed item or two that yeah. kind of thing so we're gonna we're gonna put together something cool um so far found it in the she's fifth looking movie. for screenshots <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to prove you wrong she is so trying to prove you wrong babe i think i think we've already established that you're wrong it it's just because they don't mention it in the book how do you know it wasn't like a set decoration mm. It's a thing. So I just I thank you guys for backing me up at least. Usually it's Gretchen who ends up being correct. Oh, I am right until I'm not right anymore. So you can send your screenshots to our Instagram at marvelous TNG and uh, Oh good, I, I remember to turn those notifications off. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry, I'll screenshot and then I'll email them to her and then text them and then I'll even make a TikTok with a picture and send it to her so that she gets it <laughs> somehow. Well, aren't you special? Yeah. Oh, well. So, so yeah, join us next week and we'll announce next, our yeah. giveaway and we'll get to show you what all we're going to give away and how to enter the giveaway. And So I'll give you guys a heads up. It is entering that time of the year where I became, I've become what is called a baker's widow, which means that it's Thanksgiving, Christmas season. Gretchen's going to be working like seven days a week. So might be more outings of just me and partially Gretchen. Well, or... there's some cool stuff that I would like to go to, but unfortunately I work a lot and I, well, it's not really unfortunate because I love what I do. I'm happy to work. I'm part of people's holidays and I love what I do, but I'm very busy during this time of year, but there's some things that I want him to go see so that I can see what it was like. So I'm, we're going to send him out. Yeah. yeah. So basically she's sending me out for recon to get a video so that she can look at it. Basically, I'm making videos for her, if you will. You guys can just also watch. You can watch. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. So. But yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna be around. Believe me, I, I, I do, I do get a day off once in a while. But uh, and we're definitely going to take advantage of those days off and go to the parks and do all kinds of really cool stuff. We have, we've got so much planned for the holidays. Mm. But there may come a time or two where I may not be in the video, but I was there in spirit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's all we got for you guys tonight. Well, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Please. We really appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. We always love hanging out and live chatting, and and then when you know people watch it later, they comment and we talk with them too. And right. Yeah. Definitely. So once again, thanks for hanging out. We'll be yeah, back thanks. again with you guys live next Monday night as well. Um, follow our Instagram, marvelous TNG. Um, follow Gretchen's Instagram at G Von Cupcake. And if you want, if you want to watch the artwork stuff that I do, mine is TV Artworks. So that's that's mostly where we hang out is Instagram, if you will. Yep, you know. it's a nice place to go. Yeah. Yep. So all right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh thanks. Glad you appreciated the unboxing, you guys. Um thank you everybody. We love you all so much. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.